Hello sailors, and welcome back to Admiral Plays Civilization 5. When we last left off, we had destroyed some barbarian encampments, and we started work on a masonry. So this episode, we're going to go ahead and... This episode, we're going to go ahead and uh, try to get a sea province. Because I was thinking, you know, I was thinking about me being an admiral. And being an admiral, I need some ships to command. So we're going to have to invest in some sailing. So, but for now, we're going to just sort of chill, you know? <laughs> Alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and move our spearmen back up to here. Let's go ahead and take care of these barbarian hordes. And then this should put the nail in the coffin for them. And now our little island is safe. I forgot to check what kind of map. It's continents. Okay. So uh, we actually were, got something pretty simple. Let's go ahead and get an animal husbandry going, shall we? And sailing. Now, let's keep going. Next turn. Uh, they're not dead yet. Let's see if they run away. Run it. Ah, my gosh. I hate that so much. That's really annoying. Um, so let's go ahead and repair that. I know, it was like one guy left, too. It was super annoying. Uh, so if you want to alert, maybe you want to alert. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's something I do have to complain about with this game, is like, like if units are at a certain strength, they shouldn't be able to pillage, you know? It's a minor complaint, but it's still annoying nonetheless. So we'll put a you from here, and then you can repair that. So yeah, we're gonna get some sea, we're gonna get some boats up and running, because I am an admiral, and I need a fleet to command, so... We need to probably get that pretty soon. Alright, let me keep you guys up. So, you know what? This actually adds production. That's pretty useful because right now we're producing things pretty slowly. It's taking us 27 turns to do the Temple of Artemis. So is growing. Yeah, and since we get a lot of happiness, I think we're gonna go ahead and go for that port city. I think we're gonna do it up here in the north, however. We'll do it probably on this tundra tile, so that way we can surround it with profitable tiles, you know. Um, sailing is done, so I think we want to go ahead and invest in writing next. That's a pretty good one. Writing is really good tech, because the Great Library is a really great one. Though. So, alright, we got a new one. Provides a free culture building in the first time. That's excellent! I'm assuming a monument. Um, so, yeah, I'm assuming it's a monument. Is the culture building, but that's still great because we're going again for a cultural victory. So we'll go ahead and see what's going on here. Uh, look at those horses. That's a good resource to us for us to have. Though our mounted troops do not require horses because they are war elephants, so they don't require anything. You'd think they'd require ivory, but they don't. Uh, I think they just did that for balance purposes. So, and the war weapons are really, really so much Excellent. Excellent. And we got this temple button. So let's go ahead and get a settler. One worker's enough for now. Once we get two cities, we'll have another worker. Um, so yeah, there's not much going on. We got Osaka down here and starting to encroach on our island, their territory. So we may have to go and deal with that shortly. But for now, we will continue to... Writing! Excellent! Let's go ahead and see Montezuma trade, except the Nikaki. And we want one gold per turn. Right. So there we go. Now we have an embassy with the Aztecs. Oh, they're pretty far away. <laughs> So, that's that. Let's go ahead and look at demographics real quick, see how we're doing. We're actually not last in any. We're not first in any. Um, that is a 
bit disappointing, but at least we're not last, right? So our literacy is really good. It's at 10%, so it's almost the best. Let's choose some research. What should we do now? Optics is... Yeah, we'll actually do optics. Because then our scouts can explore around the water. So there's t -ray. We're actually allied with t -ray. They're a mercantile civilization. We'll pledge to protect them. And I will pledge to protect as well. And they're military, so they're going to give us units every now and then because we're friendly with them. Alright, so... Connecting jewelry to your trade network. Alright, let's keep going along. Alright, so we got that. What do we want now? Um... I think we're going to go ahead and get those cows there for that valuable food. <laughs> uh, vital for India, to be honest, because again, India's focus is more about growing your population rather than growing the size of your territory. So we kind of got to build our strategy around that. And since we're not going to have that many cities, cultural victory is perfect for us due to the fact that it is, you know, oh, we got to keep annoying our thing. Ah, but we don't have enough gold. Darn. Uh, it's okay. Ooh, someone found the Pantheon. Yeah, Hanoi's gonna go down to just being neutral, does he? It's okay. So we'll put the city right there. That's a good place to put it. Now let's get a Care Great Library. <laughs> I was about to say caravan, but Great Library is infinitely better. Uh, just because it is, it gives you a free tech, so we'll pick a super advanced tech. We'll probably end up picking uh, the compass, I guess. No, we can't because we need philosophy for that. But we'll pick an advanced tech. We'll just quarry and. Um, Almost there. And that's where we're gonna find our next city. Yay! Yeah. Ah, great library is being gone. That really sucks. Okay, I guess now we'll do a um do a library. Uh that's pretty useful. We'll go with the wheel. And we need some buildings over here. Shoot, what do we do? Should we do a shrine? I think we should do a shrine. So we're actually at zero happiness, so... We need to get some happiness-inducing things. Coco, I'm pretty sure, does. Continue desires a trade route. Okay, we will do that for you in a moment. Maybe we should build a wall. Never considered that. Both Hanoi doesn't, but Tyrid does have a wall. And I think we should build a wall. It'll make it harder to siege our cities. Because we're going to fight mainly defensive wars. We might go engage in a couple of offensive wars. Not too, too many. But overall we're going to be a mainly passive you know, power. Okay, oh, we can adopt a brand new policy. Monarchy, one gold and one, and minus one unhappiness for every two citizens in the capital. That's really good for us. That's really good for us, because we're going to have a lot of citizens. Go and chop down that forest. That'll give us some production. The wheel and the library. Excellent, excellent. The granary. Let's go ahead and get a caravan. I need some technology. 
let's go ahead and do that because we do have some cocoa down here so we may want to invest in a plantation for that so we were first to enter the classical era so we should not see for best in science we're still not best in science or um but we are lowest in approval so that's nice <laughs> Let's, let's be honest to think about, you know? Okay, so this newly cleared land, let's build a farm. Which will give us some extra food. We're gonna need some trading posts, too. Trading posts are really useful for making money. They give you one gold. I'm pulling right here on the tundra. Finish the calendar. The yeah, optics is done, so now we can actually explore. I forgot about that. Maybe we should do trapping, or we can do mathematics. No, let's get bronze working so that way we can get- I see if there's any iron on the island, first of all. I really hope there is, because if there's not, it's gonna be rough, then we probably will have to go to war. Uh, let's go with two. Let's get another worker. Let's make you... Uh, build a lighthouse. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I don't know what a watermill might actually be more worthwhile. Okay, there's Oda Nobubanaga and they seem to have adopted literary, uh, liberty, which makes sense because they're Japan. Now, we may actually have to seize Osaka from Japan because they control the strait here. Or we could just go on land and go around. That could work too. Uh, it's really all, it's all a game, you know. Uh, it's all a game. It's all a diplomacy game. Here Hector entered, with a spear 11 cubits long in his hand. There we go. We got bronze working. Yay, there is some iron here in the center of this island. But there is no... There's no other source of iron. Okay. Bit disappointing, I do have to say. Oh no, there's one right there. I didn't even see that. <laughs> uh... Okay, so, and then let's just finally get iron working, actually. Swordsmen are really good. Especially this early in the game. And that should bring us up to speed. Lord Gandhi. <laughs> I just never thought I would see that. I mean... Lord Gandhi. You're supposed to be super peaceful, right? And that's what we're gonna be warmongers. <laughs> we're gonna be warmongering Gandhi. No, we're not gonna do that. We're trying to do comfort, but we will probably have to do some wars. I think we are gonna need Osaka. It is a bit concerning. Alright, great. We gotta work it. the route to Mumbai. So they're gonna build some city some Let's get a water uh, Yeah, we can afford it. So they're gonna build up to Mumbai. And as soon as Mumbai is done with the water mill, we'll start building our first ship. I know. Amazing. Ooh, yeah, we'll take that. It's only fair because we have an embassy in their capital. Tokyo's being. Japan's being. Japan, you know. On their little island. Oh, that's great, we get access to that. Pearls. Excellent. Alright. So Delhi's becoming a productive little haven. Um, so. That's great for us. <laughs> Uh, 
we still don't have a fleet. This is fine. And you can see that well, as we play more strategy games. I sort of have an affinity for the Navy. I'm a really big fan. That's why I named my channel the way I did. So if it, you know, comes down to it, you know, I'm going to pick the Navy over the Army almost every time. Yeah, that's another city. There's no way Osaka. Ooh, Greeks in there. I think it's Kyoto. It might be. It might be. Don't hold me to that. So let's move you up to... There. What are we going to build here? Let's go ahead and build Stonehenge. Yep, we'll do that. Yeah because Kyoto is actually their capital. Oh, Indonesia. Uh, and Tan... An... Antananarivo. Probably butchered that name. Definitely. Actually, definitely butchered that name. I happen to know that's in Madagascar. Pretty cool. It's the largest city in Madagascar and it's the capital. So, pretty cool stuff, you know? Alright, alright, alright. Finished ironworking! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's just march up to here to help these guys with their production problems. What do we want now? We're trapping, because it's only four turns. And we got two seconds. Okay. Oh man, it's Japanese trireme. What are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna build our own trireme. Don't worry. Uh, on Zanzibar, we're gonna build our own, our very own trireme. You know, our very own. It's gonna be so great. People are gonna be like, man, I wish I had that trireme. And you know, it's gonna be overall an exciting time for the Indian, I don't know what you call it, kingdom? I would call it kingdom. <laughs> okay, so he wants to do it, but we're, we're not, we're not, we're not, a, we're not warmongers. We're peace-loving Indians, okay? Just leave us be. So, and then this will be done in watermelon, which is really helpful for... Well, trapping! Yay! Get construction, and you, we will build a single boat for our navy. A single boat for our navy. And it will be the best boat anybody has ever seen. And people will be like, wow, that's a really great boat. And I'm gonna be like, I know. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, you know, boats are the key. I've actually played games, like, played three games of Civilization V, where I won entirely with boats. Uh, boats and a small army. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Uh, I would just see coastal cities, you know, occupy them, and then I would... I did this in ancient times, too. And then I would proceed any inland routes I would just take with my small little army because their army would be occupied obviously with Should we get a caravan? Let's get a war elephant. <laughs> Actually that might be a bit problematic because we're gonna run out of gold. Oh no. You can see you can see our Quebec. Citizens are focusing a lot on all the gold provinces are being maintained. So we actually need. Oh, we're getting plus 11 gold now. Okay, so we're fine. We're a very rich empire. Um, so we can't afford war elephants. We'll get some iron swordsmen as well. But first, we gotta build some iron mines. Oh, oh yeah, we gotta build the iron mine. Sorry. You know what? I'm not gonna do funny voices. I thought that was something I would do, but I'm not going to. But for now, 
Seems like we're out of time. Uh, you know what? You know what? One more turn. So you guys can see our navy. Our one boat navy. <laughs> and then I will call it quits. There it is. There's the beautiful trireme. We'll just move it out here. And look at it in all of its gloriousness. So, this has been Admiral Atlas. Uh, I'm gonna be signing off now. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Add it to your favorites list. Share on all the social medias. And if you want more content, I'm gonna do it based on likes, yeah. If you want more content, like the video. Then I know that people are watching. So, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.